All right, Rory Aronson here with the FarmBot project. This is our Hackaday Pride semifinals video. So here's FarmBot Genesis version 4 hardware. Uh, some new things in here are these 3D printed um, motor housings. So up there, up there, and up here. We also have the cable carriers new in version 4. And also the new universal tool mount, which uses a magnet to attach the tool to the tool mount. So let's see how this works really quick. Essentially, FarmBot's going to move over to the right position. Let's see here, line that up. And then we're going to lower the Z-axis. And you can see the uh, magnet is now allowing it to hook in there. And then we can go over and use the tool. That tool could be a little drill bit, so we could uh, drill a hole or destroy a weed. Or it might be a sensor for pH, moisture content, whatever it may be. Then we'll come back over here. We will raise the Z-axis and then go and grab another tool and do something else. Pretty cool stuff. A uh, little run through of the rest of the hardware. We have the end stops uh, that tell the farm bot when it's at the end of itself, so they come over and click right there. Those are still being implemented. Uh, they basically run through the cable carrier down to the ramps board. So on the ramps board, this is common with 3D printers, we have all of our stepper motors hooked up, all of the end stops, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna also use the heated bed and heated extruder pins to power some of our other electronics. So some of them will be, some of the pins will go to the universal tool mount itself to power the drill bits and other things. Uh, and some of the pins will go to uh, a little vacuum pump like this over here that we'll use for a seed injector. And that way we can suck up a seed and go and inject it in the ground. Uh, so that's gonna be really exciting. The, that's something that we need to improve on and still work on is the tools themselves. So the Arduino is then plugged into with this USB cable and the power cable to a power supply down here and the Raspberry Pi up here. And the Raspberry Pi is running some of our custom software and connected up to the internet. So if we go over to my laptop over here uh, and open up a terminal and connect up to the Pi and any of our software developers anywhere in the world can do this um, and connect up here and, and fiddle with the software and test things. Um, I'm going to tmux attach, which then brings up our two uh, windows here. On the right we have our menu where we have a couple of commands that we can send to the bot. Let's focus that. And then on the left we have our controller program running. So you can see our UUID and the current firmware version and also the current position of the bot itself. And on the right I can basically enter in a command and so I'm going to go left here, whatever that means, and press enter, and we should have the bot move. So let's see here. Press enter. There it is. And then I can move it back. So we'll then go right. So pretty neat. And then, um, yet to be implemented is those end stops again. Uh, the software can support them, we just have to hook them up here in a little bit. And eventually, we're gonna have our web application over at, let's see, myfarmbot.cc. You can log in, and then you can go and select your device, so the Makerspace bot, and um, go to, let's see, control. And here we have a webcam that's live, so hey everyone, looking at myself, there's just a laptop over there with the webcam hooked up. And then we have this manual control widget here, as well as one over here on the right. And so the user will be able to manually control their device uh, and get some real-time feedback with the webcam. Uh, and eventually, we're then going to build in the, the drag-and-drop interface so that we build something kind of like Farmville, but for real life. So the user will drag-and-drop plants into a map view, and then FarmBot will do the rest. You know, take the, the measurements of the soil, it will plant the seeds, it will water them on a schedule. So really exciting stuff. Lots to do. Definitely got to focus on the tools. Focus on getting these end stops working reliably. Got to hook them up here. You can see we're prototyping with it. So pretty exciting. The Hackaday Prize. Here we come. See ya.